What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Wyatt, everybody's favorite. And if this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, and I mean any, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you never miss any one of my videos. Matt, what they gotta do, bro? They gotta find that uh, thumbs up button, give it a little click, because it helps the channel grow. Spread this video. Spread this video around to YouTube, you know, you guys want to see an updated video, so I'm giving you an updated video. Make sure you smash that like button because it helps the channel grow. And also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Wyatt, everybody's favorite. But today, yes, today, not tomorrow, today, I'm doing an updated video on this Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Fragment collaboration. Let's get right into it. So let's start with the box. Yes, the box. We do have that updated Travis Scott box. You do have that plastic sleeve that it will come in right here. Kind of protects the shoe box. And it's a really nice hint that they added. They definitely put some money into this release. It does have Nike Air on it. It has the Fragment logo. And it has the Travis Scott logo also on it. Pretty dope, right? Yo, shout out to my bro, Matt, behind the camera. He did get lucky and hit on the lows. Uh, yeah, um, lucky, I don't even think it's like the real word for it. I'm just ecstatic. It's super dope. I'm mean, so, so stoked. I'm still like kind of speechless. He's shaking right now. Dude, it's just, it's so, so we will so be sad. doing a, a, a real versus fake on the channel. Probably sometime next week we'll drop it. Um, so you guys can see what an authentic pair looks like and a option B or UA pair looks like. You do have that original Nike box, but they made it all blue with the white Nike swoosh and the Nike sign right there. So the tag reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG SP. Your colorway is Sail Black Military Blue. This is a size nine and your MSRP is $200. Let's take a look at that tag right there. They did a pretty decent job with this, I must say. Before we get too far into the video, this is a UA, a option B. This is not the authentic pair. So you do have your tissue paper. You have that Travis Scott tissue paper right there that has the logos. And that is the box. I'm going to show you guys the best way to secure hype releases from your iPhone. It's called Addict, the best all-in-one iPhone bot supporting sites like Yeezy Supply, Supreme, Kith, Undefeated, Shop Nice Kicks, Bape, and many, many more. Addict is the first iPhone bot that consistently cooks up all the hype releases. Take a look at the success from the last couple drops. The best features about Addict are unlimited tasks, which means you can create as many tasks as you want to increase the chances of you copping the item you want. Most users set up three to seven tasks per profile for the best results. Restock mode, which is one of the best features. All you gotta do is leave your tasks running and it will pick up any restocked item for you, Addicts users have been cooking every Supreme and Air Force One restock this season. Hybrid mode. They recently added this mode this season and it's been incredibly successful for all your drops. It allows you to go through the front and remain completely undetected. Yeezy mode 2.0. Yeezy mode 2.0. This feature has been cooking every single Yeezy release. All you have to do is copy and paste the Yeezy supply link into your task Start the task and the rest is done 
for you. Attic has free updates for life, which is extremely helpful, meaning there are never any renewal fees. Once you purchase, you have Attic for life. There are no hidden charges or any other fees. Their user interface is extremely easy to use. They also have their own YouTube channel that does weekly setup tutorials in case you are a little confused on how to set it up. You also get access to a Discord group once you purchase, and this group is full of information about reselling leaks, market price changes, keywords for drops, and hourly alerts so you never miss a drop. They'll be adding tons of new features to their Discord server as well, such as low-key flips every week. This is a huge tool and guarantees profit. Now the best thing about Addict is there are no renewal fees. This means you keep Addict forever. With Addict, you also have the option to check out with Sizzle. This means you will receive the bot immediately and pay four installments of $30 for four months, which is really helpful and also a great way into reselling on a low budget. This is a great opportunity for anyone who is looking to make good money on the side or just collect really rare sneakers or clothing. Don't forget to click the link in my description right now and sign up for addict.io to be notified when they restock. So here we have it, here we have it, the Air Jordan 1, Travis Scott and Fragment collaboration. As you see, this is a updated pair from my last video and I must say bro, like, yeah, they did an amazing job on this one. Like this one will definitely compete with the authentic pair to be totally honest with you. I'm not saying buy this to sell as an authentic. I'm just saying if you are in the, the UA, you know, option B business to actually wear the shoe, then this is probably somewhere you wanna, you wanna buy from this one right here, to be honest with you. This one feels really good. Well, let's talk about the release. I mean, I know the release was crazy. Everybody thought that these were gonna drop on the sneakers app and they never did. Never. Hmm. These never dropped on the sneakers app. Like I heard information like they were loaded on the sneakers app on the back end, but they never released. But yeah, they only dropped on like raffles, some of the like the raffle sites and they only dropped on travisscott.com. If you were lucky, enough like my bro matt he did as we said in the beginning of the video he got lucky really lucky more than lucky and hit on the lows but if you got lucky and hit on the highs let me know if you guys hit in the comment section because this was the more limited pair like we knew the high top was the more limited pair so i mean i like the high top it would have been cool i guess if they came out on sneakers but you know yeah. all the raffle sites are always nice to, to be a part of and i feel like you know, I'm I'm a big fan of the Travis Scott website at as at this present moment. So thank you, yeah, you uh, all the people at the Travis Scott website. Facts. Um, but you know, overall, I I I think that this release is kind of cool because we don't always get a high and a low at the same time. You know, I mean, this is a unique collaboration. Nor do we get a triple collab going on very frequently as well. So I mean. This UA pair is awesome, I'm not gonna lie. It makes me really excited to see what mine look like coming in. This is the more rare, more sought after pair, even though everybody really wanted the low tops more than the highs. I mean, this is holding like a 3000 plus resale value right now for this shoe. Yeah, I think that like when we spoke earlier, when we first did the um, the video on when we got the first highs in, yep. we were like, hey, I think we want the lows, but has your has your opinion changed since it didn't drop on sneakers? Is it because it's more rare now that we want the highs? And we would be like hype beasts, right? I am. I like all that stuff. Yeah, I, I like the hype care. beast stuff too, but I do, you know, I still like the lows. But after seeing this pair, it's much better than the pair that I first reviewed. So this is like giving me that, okay, this is what they're this is what they're supposed to feel like. This is the leather that they're supposed to have. Not saying it's 100% spot on. I like the highs a lot. Even though the color blocking is a little different, a lot of people wanted the black around the toe and to make the low look like the high, but obviously they weren't gonna do that, you know? This kind of resembles the color blocking. I forget the year, but it was a Jordan 1 that came out a long time ago that had the same exact color blocking. So this was the inspiration for, the, you know, the Travis Scott Fragment collaboration. Matt. How's it good, bro? Not much, just uh, chilling. 
All right, let's do your favorite part of the video. Purple. They swapping ideas, bro. What we doing with these, bro? Let's be, let's be honest. Let's have um, that combo. Lace bags. You have your sale that matches. You have your sale lace that matches that midsole, which could be a contender, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty dope. I think it will look dope. Maybe something I might try. You have your pink, right? Travis Scott pink that matches the interior of this shoe. Let's just let's just do this real fast. Show the show the viewership. So you do have that like that satin pink. If you do, um, you know, unvelcro this, you know, you could stash some money in there. You can stash some whatever you want to stash. You know, it's a stash pocket, right? You could throw that military blue in there also that matches the rest of the blue on the shoe. You can throw some red laces in there that matches that cactus jack right there on the tongue. What you, what you doing, man? I just gave you a lot of options. Purple? So, no, not really. I guess my initial thought is always pink, you know, with Travis Scott's. Like, like I feel like if you put pink in this, bro, you're like, oh, this, and you're wearing it, you're like, this dude's showing off. Oh, he has pink, oh, he's putting the pink laces in here? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I, that's why, yeah. like, if I'm putting pink, I'm like, oh, the, oh, oh, that's what we're doing today. They're hype beast shoes, so yeah, you can hype beast these, and I don't think anyone should really care. I think if you want, I like the black, I think it's it's subtle, I think it kind of pulls everything together. They're all going to look good. I think it just depends on, where I would say is like, do you want to stand out, put the pinks in? What colors do you wear normally, right? If you wear, if you want to wear these a lot, then put the black in, because it's going to match most. Yeah, I Or blue. The, the or tan. Or purple. I love purple, so whatever. Um, I think that your sail laces are always going to look good if you wear a lot of earth tones. So even if you're wearing a lot of earth tones, a lot of muted browns, muted greens, and things like that, it could still work. Let me know in that comment section right now, what laces would you put in these Travis Scotts? If you already have them, if you're going to get them in the future, let me know right now in that comment section. So that's a wrap on the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Fragment collaboration. This was a updated video. I did get the updated box. Congratulations to everybody that did get a W on this pair and you know, just keep your head up if you didn't. So if this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you never, and I mean ever, miss any one of my videos. Also, Matt, what's up, bro? You back again with it? What, what do they gotta do, man? So uh, we have to find that thumbs up button, smash it and help the channel grow. You know, support, hey, if you're, if you're interested in some UAs and you didn't hit like I did, low-key flex or high flex, whatever you want. Definitely. Sure money, man. Definitely. Smash that like button one time. Follow me on Instagram at Wyatt, everybody's favorite. Thanks for watching everybody's favorite, Matt. I mean, we're you're on the pace for 100,000 subscribers on, on I am. Insta. I am. So Maybe by the end of the year, 100, 100K by the end of the year. Let's do it after this video, people. Let's go. Okay. Woo!